Whoa! What is going on, you guys? My name is Jacob Forster, and we are back with Walter. He finished reading the 1,282-page book while we were offline for a week, which greatly reduced the amount of time that we have here. How the time flies. I should be reading more. Oh, this is so cool. Also, everything looks incredible. Um, yeah, let's let's go ahead and kind of see what things we need to do. Let's go ahead and sit back down and read. I'm gonna go and check out the tasks that we have. Uh, yeah, let's read a book. My thoughts. Oh, at least my birthday will be a bit sooner. <laughs> Uh, I dreamed of a strange place beyond the kingdom with green grass and trees. An old blind man was operating well that reached down to the cave. A spider emerged from the depths and scared a young troll sitting nearby. Okay. Let's see. I need to find the great darkness lurking somewhere. The cave is full of hidden places. I've seen nearly every area of the cave. I really need to read more. My dream would be to find a book that never ends. I've learned that only a fool tries to reach the end of eternity. Still need to find another piece of wood for my bed. And I still need to find some more colors overall. And I need running water. Let's grow some mushrooms. I want to converse with somebody. I want to play music. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for right now. So let me go back down real quick. Um, Hmm. Oh, Walter, you are the best. Slappy feet, Walter! <laughs> oh, yeah. And I also got a lot of really good feedback from you guys from the last episode. I know I asked uh, from you guys, like, what you would prefer in terms of uh, if you want me to skip through some of the walking areas, if you want me to uh, keep it in. And the general consensus from you guys was to keep all of that in. So. Uh, I'm totally cool with that. I enjoy being able to um, commentate and narrate over what is going on with Walter. So I'm glad that we have all this going on. And it looks like I have another mushroom that's growing from the initial one that I planted here. So that is cool too. So if I harvest this mushroom, can I place you in another spot? Yeah, go ahead. You got this, Walter. And where can I plant you? Anywhere? Hmm. What if I just plant you right here? <laughs> oh, how I love gardening. The more mushrooms I grow, the faster time seems to go by. Yeah, it is going down quite a bit now. So let's go ahead and let's eat this one. Yum. <laughs> All right, cool. Actually, let me go down here real quick. I want to see if I can build out any more of this little area down here. Because I do have two pickaxes now. But I don't have anything to do with the area. Let's see. Granite. Okay. Won't get any bigger than that. All right, so let's let's go ahead and go to the top. I know the last thing that we really needed to do was <clears throat> go explore the very tippity top of the cave. Of course, we can mine some more sulfur, make a new fire. Uh, of course, you can see the map there on the top left. There's still more to find. So let me go ahead and have him walk just all the way up to the mushrooms. Let's take a walk. Oh, this is great. We'll kind of explore what we've already seen here, too. Um, so, yeah, we got the king. We have the general area of the halls. I don't think I had anything with this, if I remember correctly. Uh, I haven't actually been to the... Let me go to the gold area real quick. So I wonder if I can actually use the pickaxe to potentially break through that. Uh, I want to see what message it gives me overall when I try to kind of go through that overall. But yeah, other than that, uh, of course we can still try to mine some more of... Let's see here. Oh, I don't have it saved. That's a bummer. Uh, mine some more of the crystal areas, which should be... If 
I'm looking at the map. Kind of towards the right hand side, there's like a little dark blue cave just above the normal brown area. So that would seem like the best option to go towards. And again, looking up here, we have 329 days, 18 hours, 12 minutes, and now 38 seconds remaining in the game. Um, so that's less than a year now, which is insane. Yeah, the time flew so quickly. So if I'm able to find the book that never ends, I could potentially like finish this really quickly too. Because if it's if I have an idle reading in the background while I close the application, time will just keep running, keep spinning, and that will be super cool. So I really hope I can find that. But at the same time, like we're gonna go explore up towards the surface. So I don't know what's gonna be up there. I have no map of that area. That's all new. So that's gonna be another thing that we explore today in this session of belonging with our boy Walter, Slappy Feet Walter. His bright yellow eyes. Ah, uh, the king. I feel like at this point too, like, I can wait for him, but I wanna figure out more. <laughs> Oh, this is great. Ah, little droplets. Also, in case you guys couldn't see, my I've got a different camera setup now um, for this game. Actually, for just all of my recordings. I'm still figuring it out, trying to, <laughs> trying to properly set it up. Um, I'm basically just using a new capture method still the same camera so it should hopefully look a little bit crisper a little bit more smooth overall um with my movements and everything but <laughs> i i still can't figure out the right way to set this thing up um for those of you who are interested in this at all uh you can listen to me talk about this you it may not make sense to anybody else but i'm using the elgato um 4k capture uh thing for cameras but the canon camera that i use right here it's not optimized for this system so if my face just suddenly freezes i'm just like eh. um i will try to monitor that and take care of it but it shouldn't so we'll see what actually happens here um but if it does freeze i literally just have to touch the camera once and it should be fine but yeah i need a i think maybe at the end of this i'm gonna start uh, harvesting crystals rather than going back home depending on if I find a bed or not too that'll be a kind of a big determining factor as well so if I find another piece of wood that will allow me to build a bed I want to see how that kind of interacts with the game overall but yeah we'll, we'll, we'll see as we kind of go along through this Okay, all right, so we're already in the gold room, so that's good. It's very close. So, can I break through? The treasure is behind a nearly impenetrable window of crystal glass. Not that I could make much use of it anyway. Okay, that's kind of what I figured. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the mushrooms then. Let's see if anything has changed there. Sweet, let's see. It'd be cool if you could end up going into the gold room, though. I would love to see that overall. Slap if you want to. <laughs> awesome. Oh, should I pick that up? Nope, I can't. <laughs> Some of the things that fall from the ceiling are not pickable. Pick upable. Just creating words here. Um, and I already have so much overall coal. I, I mean, I don't see any reason for grabbing any more. Uh, I know obviously that it will. You can make fires with it, and that will help overall with Walter's time going down. So we'll see what what we end up getting. Spooky music. 
yeah, I've, I've gotten a lot more, a lot more books, which is awesome too. I really do need to go through those. And somebody in the, the comments suggested as well that I should just do a whole episode where I read, uh, where I'm physically reading these books for you guys. Honestly, I think that would be super fun. <laughs> Uh, just have like a good like story time episode with Walter. Uh, just an hour of me like reading through a book. Basically, I'll just be making an audiobook for you guys. <laughs> uh, but I, I think that would be kind of fun actually. So please uh, comment yes if you want to see a full like reading episode overall. Because I think that would be great. Okay, we're already at the map room. That was quick. As I'm like learning more about the the areas overall, it, it's actually becoming a much less um, daunting map, if that makes sense. Wait, where did where did the map go? It's right there. Okay. Yeah, the map itself is much less daunting as you kind of understand it, especially now that I have this map that's set up. Oop, sorry. <laughs> and kind of going to these upper levels is actually pretty quick. It's It really is more so of a maze to get to these places. I love, I love this section, in particular the music. Uh, but now that you, now that I've been able to kind of preset all of these areas and kind of make this map overall, it's made it so much more, so much easier overall to, to navigate myself. And I really do want to at least maybe on my spare time, maybe not in a full video because it would be really be no content for the most part. I, I really want to try to reach the end of eternity. Um, when I did my uh, live stream uh, a few weeks back, I literally just continued walking for at least 20 minutes. Um, and that's where I found the horse head and a few other books. And if I were to guess correctly, I would say that the the book that never ends is found in the halls of eternity of all places. But again, I, maybe I could do like an edited video where it kind of goes through some of the different sections of the halls of eternity, like just kind of record it myself, just spend a full hour going through it and then just piecing up the highlights of what I find throughout the area. So that could be a that could be a very cool kind of thing to set up overall. But this is a uh, this is of course a combined journey. It's not just Walter. It's not just me and the King. It's all of you guys too. So I always really really appreciate and I try to read as many comments and respond to as many views as possible uh, when you do leave. Uh, messages for this series again always encourage you guys in the comments section down below um please like hit me up let me know things i miss things that i should go check out um but we're all in this together it's a it's a long game it's a journey overall and i want to be able to kind of experience uh as a single unit of people um kind of playing this game together so i'd love to hear your opinion, your voices on what sh we should uh, check out next and what we should do. It seems like right now we are kind of proceeding forward to disobey the king a little bit because he does not want us to kind of check out anything further. Um, but I think that's a good thing. I think we're supposed to, especially with these dreams and with what is going on with discovering more of the surface we are finding a wrecked civilization or uh, structures like you can kind of see down here in the bottom left. Might be a little bit dark for you guys. Let me see if I can brighten it up. Yeah, it's a little bit brighter for you guys. Um, <laughs> oh, that's my menu. I do wish there was more interaction though. I, I know I mentioned in the last video I was like, oh, oh, sorry, Walter. I didn't mean to do that. Boop, there you go. Wait, all the sound effects just disappeared. 
Okay, there they go. <laughs> so yeah, I was mentioning in my other video, it'd be great if you could like read your book, read your notes, at least maybe take your notes with you while you walk. Um, one of you had a funny comment. I can't remember your name exactly, but you know exactly who you are. Um, <clears throat> that if I was reading the book while walking, like any of the books, it'd be funny if like Walter would trip because he's not paying attention to where he's walking. Uh, and I thought that was, I thought that was a kind of a funny uh, point to kind of pull up and see what we could do with that. Of course, it's the developer has not added that as a functionality to the game, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what what kind of appears through all of this. Da, da, da. Da. Oh, okay. I'm going to pick up that coal since we're going to be right next to it. If they're in my way, I'll, I'll grab them. Since I'm already on an auto walk, pick up. You, oh, you're facing the wrong direction. <laughs> I now have 36 coal. Sweet. Also, <clears throat> excuse me there. I am going to eat some more mushrooms. Or maybe I should plant them to make the time go faster. But I'm going to try to eat more mushrooms so that I can, uh, I guess, dream? Hallucinate? Uh, pass out? <laughs> as much as it's probably not good for Walter. So I'm wondering if there's more dreams. There's also, I, I don't think anyone pointed it out, but I thought it was really funny that in the game, during the dream sequence of the last episode, the little guy, he was the little troll i guess is what he was in the dream he had like this orangey pink hair like coral colored hair and i was wearing the exact same like colored hat <laughs> as the little troll i just thought it was very funny like convenient the timing of that and <laughs> how close the colors were i was like that's me all right let's see how far are we uh so we just went up the uh -huh. okay perfect so we're already getting close to the section. Again, you can see in the top left, there's a, it's probably very hard to see on your screen, but it's a very, very small separation between where I've been and areas that I have not yet seen. Um, basically right above where that little mushroom kind of cove was. And that's definitely an area that I can dig out. And then from there, it is unknown, completely unknown. So we'll see kind of what ends up uh, being found up there. Also, don't you disappear, you coal. <laughs> can I grab it? Can I grab it? Can I grab it? Yes, I can. <laughs> sweet. Oh, I picked that up just in time. All right, sweet. Back into the mushroom area. Mm. We got the funky music going on, which is great as well. So let's see. This one should glow. Come on. You got it, Walter. Uh, well, handle it the most utmost uh, care. And can I plant you at all? Or do I have to just eat you? Hmm. Um, let's see. I want to try to plant you back in the... Okay, grow mushroom. Yeah. So I can grow it right here. So does the time go down further now? Or quicker? Seems about the same. Okay, so planting mushrooms here doesn't really give me really any benefit. Go and eat this one. <laughs> I'm just going to keep eating the mushrooms. See what I can find. Yoink. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go. <gasps> yes. Another dream. Oh, yes. There he is, the little troll. Also, someone mentioned that the time goes a lot faster when you wake up from the dream as well. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a whole new area. Oh, and a full hour. A full hour just went by. What a strange and beautiful dream. Okay, okay. I need to eat more mushrooms. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take this one over to that little mushroom cove. I'm curious if if I can just plant it there and get as many mushrooms as possible. Oh, sweet. Okay, great. Oh, 
Ooh, I wonder how many dream sequences there are. Oh, I love this. I love this so much. Walter! <laughs> oh. Okay. And this should be it right over here. Also, let me check the... Oh, ooh, game froze. Just slightly. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> Where is my map? Okay. I think there's an area... Or is it just right here, this literal crossroad? Um, yeah, so that leads up to an area that I can dig out, but I don't... I didn't see anything on the map itself, so I'm assuming it is literally just going to go into an area that... It's just going to hit, like... Bedrock, limestone, I forget what he called it, that it was impenetrable. Okay. So what was that? Three mushrooms to actually hallucinate? Let's go and put this one down though, and see if I can eat any more mushrooms that are in here. Oh, this is so cool. Give me any options. Oh, it does. Okay. Grow mushroom, eat mushroom, grow mushroom. That's two. So three. Four. And... Okay, I can plant four mushrooms over here. So that's actually really good to know. So let's go ahead and grow this mushroom. Hmm, the perfect soil for mushrooms of all kinds. Sweet. Okay. Oh, let's definitely grab that. Yoink. <laughs> I feel like it may just benefit me to just go through and plant these mushrooms real quickly. Because I can plant... Uh, it's, it's a weird trade-off between wanting to kind of have the mushrooms grow themselves and having four that are gonna continually grow in the same spot, or just eating them like right off the bat and seeing what happens with them in that way. But before I go get those, uh, of course it's gonna take, I think at least a day, if not a couple, to have those mushrooms sprout, I guess, and grow. So I'm gonna go back up here and start digging in the area that's gonna lead to the potentially the new area. So let's get up here. Let's go Walterus Maximus. <laughs> and I think you can dig out on the left too, but I don't think this went anywhere uh, anywhere fruitful. Actually, let me just see if I can even dig out anymore. Oh, what, what can I pick up? Lump of coal, oh, okay. It's very dark in this area, so I'm not too sure. All right, let's see. Was there any more I could dig out here? Or did I hit the uh, the edge? Oh, I can I can dig out more. Hmm. Let me check my map on this specific area too, because again, if we're looking at this, we're looking at the very top left now. Um, so I'm curious if maybe if I dig this out enough, I'll be able to reach the top of those giant mushrooms. That's my only guess overall, because it doesn't seem like there's really any other reason to to dig up here. Oh, I just had a thought too. What if your two options in the game are to either wait for the king to wake up after the 400 days, of course, or if the the, the man and the troll up top, if they are real and not just a part of my dream, I wonder if they'll like bring me into their family if I end up escaping up top. And if that's the case, then is the game over? Like, is that it? Oh, there's something, there's something on the ground here. Is that more mushrooms? Oh, okay, my thought was kind of right actually. That maybe we're digging up more mushrooms here. Cool. 
And I know that uh, the green ones kind of made me sick, so... At least I believe they did. And I don't know if maybe you have nightmares with those if you eat too many? Oh, oh, that's a, that's a good thought, actually. All right, well, let's, let's just keep digging this out, though, real quick. See what we find. Walter is the hardest worker I know, by the way. <laughs> also, I keep... Uh, you guys always mention and notice the time moving before I do. Because obviously I'm playing this game in real time. I'm not able to put as much focus. And I can't rewind, of course, because I'm doing this in real time. Um, so you guys always notice when the time changes when I don't. So I'm trying to like be a little bit more aware and cognizant of what activities I'm doing will actually make the time shift. And it doesn't seem like actually working um, in this manner will do much for, for Walter at this point. Hmm. Little Walter. I'm really glad I zoomed this out and saved this picture here. This has really been invaluable for, for what we're working on. Because I can see every point of interest. <clears throat> Alright, I feel like I'm going to hit the edge here soon. There can't be much else over here. Probably need to dig... Uh, dig it out a little bit more. So right now it's kind of narrow. It's probably going to like widen before I hit just a end up wall. Yeah, and it looks like overall it's kind of widening out here as opposed to going further. This is so cool. You can do this. Also, while we're here and doing this, uh, of course, I... For those of you who are watching that are here with me on this journey, um, I, I know I, I say this somewhat often, but it, it really, really, truly is incredible. Absolutely incredible how much you guys have been supporting my channel and um, just supporting me while I'm making all these videos for you guys. Um, just this last week, uh, I got over 7,000 subscribers, uh, just reached over 7,000 subscribers. And when I think back to when I posted like my first, first video, um, literally like two and a half months ago, not even three months at this point, I had 50 subscribers overall. Um, prior to that, I was making, just for just so you guys know a little bit more about me, um, I had made a video here and there. Okay, looks like that is all I can do. Let me... Granite, okay. Oh no, I have more disappointments. Let me pick this up and then I'll continue on what I was just mentioning. Um, sweet. Yoink. And then can I replant it? Let's double check that. Let's go ahead and eat it. I know this one's probably not good. Oh, Walter, no. Okay, but anyway. So other than just that recent, um, like from around three months ago when I put out the sentient video, um, I had only uploaded just a couple random videos that I wanted to try to like work on. Um, so I had, uh, I believe it was Prey Transstar VR uh, video that I made, which was like, it was a, an experience of VR itself. So it wasn't even like an actual game. Um, and I had also uploaded a podcast that I did with my buddy Isaac that we just decided one night, like, let's make a podcast. Like, let's, uh, let's record us talking to each other and hanging out. And I really liked that. That was really fun. Um, <clears throat> and then like, 
I think about six years ago. I, uh, I'm a musician, for those of you who don't know, or I play music. And so I used to go play at like little shows here and there. And uh, my dad like went out and recorded me uh, playing some music. So those, I, I've since privated those videos. I haven't removed them from YouTube. I'll probably make them public at some point in the future, but they're, it's a very young Jacob <laughs> going out and playing music in not the best <laughs> overall singing and playing guitar. It was when I was really early on um, kind of playing music from many, many years ago at this point. But that that's really just the whole uh, dynamic of my YouTube channel. Um, those few videos that I had made as well as um, a couple like or I think it was, it was about six to eight months ago that I had those like two or three other gaming videos um, ooh, you can see it now uh, right above me there's a maybe I can duck <laughs> uh, you can see the where the cave um, touches itself so we'll be able to get through here pretty quickly but yeah I had just made a few of those videos uh, oh close to the sun that game I was super excited for and decided to make a couple videos on it. Um, I would like to get back into that at some point, but um, it's hard to jump into a series that people haven't seen, <laughs> and especially since it was like six plus months ago that I made that. Um, but I'll definitely get back into that game at some point. But anyway, all that being said, um, it's incredible, just blows my mind and is humbling to see how many people have been discovering my videos, uh, watching them, enjoying them, interacting with me, whether it's here in YouTube, on the comments, on my Discord, um, over on TikTok, Instagram. Uh, people haven't really gone over to my Twitter, <laughs> which that's fine. Um, not everybody has Twitter. And I'm not super active on there, but I like to post there every once in a while. More just like random thoughts as they come along. Um, but yeah, it's it's incredible that you guys are here for this. Um, and I couldn't be happier, honestly, uh, to be able to make all of these videos. I, I greatly enjoy them myself. Um, even if you guys all weren't watching, I'd still be uploading games like this. Uh, maybe not the same frequency, just because it's like, it's exciting that you guys are watching, so I wanna keep putting out more content. Um, but I, uh, a couple of the my friends here in the Discord They've mentioned things like, hey, make sure you don't burn yourself out. Um, take rest as you need it. And uh, of course, I will definitely be doing that as needed. Um, I think I didn't end up uploading a video on Sunday just because it was... Um, I had some issues with the upload for a video and I didn't want to spend hours and hours to try to fix it. But if I, if I ever do get a little bit tired or worn out, um, I of course will take time for myself. I just want to make sure that you guys know that. I'm not working myself to death <laughs> making these videos um, but of course I, I have a full-time job that is not YouTube uh, so I make sure that um, I try to manage my time well overall and while the the entire situation going on or in the world that I'm sure absolutely everybody is familiar with um, well it really is a a sad kind of moment in time for a lot of people um, the timing of it is very, very interesting, at least for me. Um, I'm grateful that my work has been able to uh, allow me to be to work from home. And I think that's something that's actually allowed me to create more videos like this for you guys. Um, being able to actually have a little bit more time for myself, probably shave off at least an hour of my day just from commuting by not being physically at work. Um, so once once all this kind of has cleared, what's going on in the world, and once everything is settled, uh, I hope to kind of find a, a good cadence overall uh, with my uploads and how I want to uh, continue making videos for you guys. Uh, because of course, if, if this all were to get to a point where, um, where I end up actually like, am, can I, can I keep going, please? Oh, <gasps> yes. But yeah, if, if I actually get to a point where I'm able to do this for like a living and actually can do YouTube um, and sustain myself, of course that's the 
that's the biggest question is is youtube gonna sustain somebody um i'm definitely not even close to that right now oh no there's such a huge section okay let's see what do i need to do how do i get up here okay i, I gotta eat the there must be a way to get up there Wait, how do I get up there? <gasps> Ooh, do I grow a giant mushroom? That's my guess. Ooh, maybe I grow a giant mushroom. Uh, but yeah, sorry. <laughs> if I, if YouTube gets to a point where it's able to sustain myself, um, of course, that would be just absolutely incredible. I don't think I'm anywhere close to that yet, as I was mentioning. Um, but I think, uh, obviously, given time with anything, like, who knows? Like, there could be... Uh, an awesome moment where I'm able to... Okay. Yeah, that's that's definitely it. You gotta grow these mushrooms, and they're probably gonna get giant. So, let's keep going. So, that would be really cool, just overall, so I can just focus on this. Um, sometimes I speed up my, uh, I guess, production speed in terms of, like, how quickly I get videos out just because I have limited hours in the day. I'll record a video, really briefly run through it, and um, kind of watch it back a little bit. Sometimes I'll miss little edits here and there that I should throw in. Um, but I would say right now, like, I can't be as creative in the edits themselves as if I were doing this, uh, just doing this. Which, of course, I'm a small channel. Things are growing, and uh, more things more stuff will evolve over time and I'm sure I'll kind of get my overall voice um, voice of gameplay not my actual voice and just my style of this channel but again all, all this being said I know I'm just rambling on <laughs> at this point uh, all that being said I'm so excited for you guys um, being here with me while I'm going through this journey um, it's you, you guys are what makes this super fun um, being able to interact with you all so uh, just of course wanted to say that and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoy my content for uh, many more many more games to come whatever that means whether that's years months eternity <laughs> just like the halls of eternity also gotta stay hydrated while playing the long it could be a long time. And then, so yeah, I, I dug out the left, dug out the top right. Let's see. Let me dig out the middle top right, I think was the other section. Yeah, up here. I think this is where the green mushrooms were too. So let me see what else I can grow there. I'm curious if maybe I need to bring the green mushroom up top to maybe combine it with a normal mushroom? Maybe that's what makes the giant mushrooms? Brainstorming here. Brainstorming. <laughs> Alright, let's keep moving. Also, it has been so hot. I'm, I'm over in California. Um... But it, like, it went from, like, oh, it's cold and chilly and rainy to, like, it is hot <laughs> in, like, literally a day. Um, and I, I live in kind of an old apartment, so the AC is pretty loud. Uh, I keep it on throughout most of the day, but whenever I'm recording, I try to turn it off so you guys don't just hear <sighs> just, like, sounds in the background. Okay. What happens if I eat too many green ones? Oh, Walter. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna eat one more. Walter, I'm sorry for making you eat these green mushrooms. I just want to know what happens if I eat too many. Okay, they're just not good overall. <laughs> Alright, let's check out over here. I'm gonna hold off on that green one. Just hit my microphone. I'm gonna hold off on that green one. I'm gonna bring that one up top to see if I could plant that with the other mushrooms to see what happens with that. Uh, also, I wanted to make sure to see what else I need to dig out here. Or if I've already finished it. 
use it. Let's see how far I get. Mm, okay, so we are growing a lot more. Maybe there's a giant mushroom that I can harvest over here. Because this is really the only other place that I need to uh, dig out overall. Hmm. Also, I'm kind of just disappearing into the void rather than it widening right now. Um, we'll see what happens. Oh no, it's getting a little bit wider now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sometimes the game just freezes for a second. Uh, that's not, I think, my system at all. I can't believe we have 329 days remaining, too. I'm going to pull up my calendar <laughs> just to see how far away that is right now. Let's see. So 329 days from today is March 22nd, 2021. March 22nd, 2021. <laughs> so far away. Alright, Walter is really digging right now. He's getting into this. <laughs> and honestly, too, the music makes everything better. Imagine if it was just this. <laughs> I mean, this isn't bad. It has at least a little bit of character to it. The low... The low rumblings of the cave. Let's turn off all sound. <laughs> Complete silence. <laughs> That's a little bit uncomfortable when it's just no sound whatsoever. I understand, like, you can... This would be a great game to... Like, you're doing school. Or you have something else in the background. <gasps> like, if I'm working. <laughs> no, I'm not going to work and play video games while on the clock. That's not good. Don't do that if you're doing that. Stop it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, if you're doing something and you want this to just kind of run idly in the background, you can turn off the music, you can turn off uh, the sound effects overall and just kind of let it go. It's not a very intensive game, obviously, um, so it's pretty easy to just kind of be a, essentially like a background um, application. Ooh, I really do hope I find a giant mushroom, though. Like, what else am I going to find over here? Need to do all that I can to progress this game forward. Also, where is the great darkness that we have not yet discovered in this game? You know, what? I'm gonna check my map because, for the most part, yeah, most of these areas are pretty close together, but there's, towards the top left, there's quite a lot of dark area that we haven't seen. And then just to the right of the, sorry, it's mirrored on what you guys are seeing. To the right of the king, there's a lot of darkness over there too. And I think I was mentioning in the last episode, there are places on this map that I have not been that are uncovered, but there's also places that I have been that are not uncovered on the map. So, like, just as a general instance, my my own home is not represented on the map for some reason. Um, so that really does lead me to believe that there's a lot more areas that we haven't actually viewed that are not visible right here. I mean, even the Halls of Eternity are not represented on the map too. So that would lead to, uh, yet again, another potentially large area, because the Halls of Eternity literally go forever. <laughs> so that is a massive part of the map. Oh. Walter, what do you got? Granite. I'm not getting much further here. What a disappointment. Oh, Dang it. Okay. So that was you. <laughs> not very useful. So I'm going to go ahead and try to plant this green mushroom then back up top. And... That's my only guess, is that 
maybe those mushrooms will just become giant mushrooms? Hmm. Alright, let's pick you up. E Yoink! Okay. Don't eat it. It's my only green one. crawl under here. Yes, cool. He can still hold it. <laughs> That's really good to know. Man, I've, I can grow mushrooms everywhere. It's actually really good to know. Come on, you can do it. Upwards to the right, and we should be able to, if not planting it right on top of the other mushrooms, at least near it. We'll see what that. Gosh, I got something in my eye. <laughs> we'll see what that does. All right, let's get up here, Walter. Unless my little spider buddy. Ooh, maybe I get the spider to help grow another web up in that area. And maybe I, like, entice him with mushrooms? And maybe he only likes the green mushrooms, too. Which, that would be a bummer, because I think this is the last green one. Mm. Okay. Well, we'll find out here in a second. I have no idea why a spider would would want mushrooms, but it's very possible. <gasps> no! Oh. <laughs> Walter, why'd you do that? <laughs> I think I right-clicked on accident. <sighs> no! <laughs> Walter, you are... <laughs> that was... <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, that that attempt is no longer available. <laughs> All right, I'm going to eat some more mushrooms and see if I can dream some more. First, I'm going to try to entice the spider. And then I'm going to eat mushrooms. <laughs> Dang it. That was such a bummer. It's fine, though. Get the little mushroom cave. Oh, I should probably inspect that mushroom that's up there. Mm, yeah, let me go back real quick. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> We're going back and forth. Because I want to see if uh, if he gives any directive. Like, if, he, if I inspect it, he'll be like, Oh, this looks like it will grow into a giant mushroom in five weeks. Or something ridiculous like that. So we'll see if that changes anything overall. <laughs> Alright, let's get on up there. Music is so mystical and magical. Sweet. All right, getting back up into the area. Also, I, I don't even remember just the general timing for mushrooms either. So this will be a good, good reminder just to kind of see what he, uh, what he gives for directions. Also, I need to save this on my uh, little mini map too. Come on, Walter, you got it. Okay, so note to self: do not right-click <laughs> anything in this game. Can I inspect the one that is going to be right here that we already picked up? Because I think once you pick it up, it's still going to grow back in the same spot every time. We will see. We will see. Okay, inspect mushroom. 
slowly regrowing here. Okay, that's fine. So that's one area. Uh, this should be another area right here. Slowly regrowing. Okay, and then the last one should be right here. Slowly regrowing. So yeah, they're, they're, that's got to be it. That has to be the objective is to grow one so that it gets large enough so you can climb on top of it and then go to the next section. I still don't know how long mushrooms take to actually grow. Oh, sorry, Walter. Let's go ahead and send you down here. Yeah, I don't know how 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 long it actually takes for them to grow. So I think it's just a week, though, if I'm not mistaken. Because I think in the last episode we ate the mushrooms that were in my house and then, or at least replanted it, and they've already grown back. There were two of them, so. Or was it just one? I think there were two. Yeah, there were definitely two. And I replanted one of them, ate the other. But for a giant mushroom, <laughs> that's a whole nother story. We don't know if that's actually the case. Or if it even exists. <laughs> I'm also super tempted to... I want to look up more things on this game. I have done as good as I can to not look up anything. Uh, so this is a 100% blind playthrough. Uh, playthrough. But I really want to know. I want to know what to do. I guess like when I figure out uh, like just a general main kind of storyline objective or completing a main objective of this game, then I can kind of go back in and do some research on all of the different aspects that are uh, available to progress this game further. Because I'm sure there are legitimate like speedrunners that are playing through this, um, trying to get the best time possible. So it's it'd be interesting to know um, what overall you can kind of do in this game that I haven't already discovered. Even though it says I've discovered nearly every part of the cave. Getting those magical <laughs> notes. Ba -ba -ba -ba! All right. Was there anything else over here? Yep. That's that's the clue. That's the clue right there. At the intersection of the green mushroom and the purple mushroom are giant mushrooms. 40 coal. Dang it. Oh, there's a little mushroom popping up right there. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Wait, did I plant this earlier? Oh, I think I did. Oh, that actually comes up a lot faster than I anticipated. so small yeah that that seems to be the clue at the intersection of green and purple mushrooms you get large mushrooms so let's see I really hope there's another green one somewhere I really screwed myself over by eating that one back down to this area. Double check with the spider too because again, I don't know if that's an actual actual objective potential um, to like lure the spider with mushrooms. <laughs> It'd be a funny one but I don't know if that actually is one. Okay, so we got more purple. Just great. I'm going to do a test, too. I'm going to plant one of these purple ones, one of the many purple ones, uh, over with the other green ones that are right above me, and see what that actually does. Ah, it glows. All right, do not right-click. <laughs> All 
All right, we still have four mushrooms over here, by the way, which is great. So let's see if I can lure this little guy. Oh yeah, these actually grow pretty quickly, so it's not a week, for sure. Oh, this one's completely regrown already, too. Oh, okay. Maybe I could just give it some time then, right here in this episode. We're already almost an hour in, but... I guess we'll see. Walter is Maximus. Yeah, yeah, it's growing really quick. I mean, granted, it's probably been... Granted, it's probably been like... I think 15 minutes that we've already been up here? Maybe 20? So... Maybe that is going to take way too long just for this particular video. Alright, Walter. Can you lure the spider? Little spider buddy. Come over. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So he doesn't want the mushrooms. That has to be what is going on then. You have to be able to... You have to be able to combine the two different types at the top. So let me actually... I'm going to try to go into dream state again so that the top mushrooms start growing again. Because that'll take a full hour off my time, which these might be grown by then. So let's go ahead and eat these mushrooms. A yoink. Chomp. <laughs> Alright, Walter. Let's get another mushroom in your belly. Okay. Let's pick up you. A yoink. And give it to the old chomp. <laughs> Alright, I can't eat them all. I gotta leave at least one for the top area. Okay. That's fine. Alright, I've got two at least here. So one more should put me in a dream state, hopefully. And then I think that's all of them over here. Oh, there's three. Great. It's even better, actually. Okay. Harvest it. And let's eat it. Yes! Okay, another dream. Here we go. <gasps> cool. Oh, there's a little outhouse with a little heart. <laughs> I just noticed that. Also, that big tree looks like it, it has an opening that you can probably go through. It's not related to those rocks. Ooh. Ooh, there's so much more. What a strange and beautiful dream. Cool. Okay, glad we were able to dream some more. Let's pick up this mushroom. Glowing in the dark. I'm gonna plant this next to the green ones. And then we'll go from there. Let's see if that does anything for us. I love all those dream sequences. It's so cool. Just learning a little bit more about this world. plant this and then I think I'll go ahead and return home from here because uh, it seems like we've pretty much gotten everything that we need to up top that we can before the mushrooms start growing back again. Uh, again, it is kind of sad that we can't pick up any of these green mushrooms right now, but I'm going to go ahead and plant this right next to all of these green ones and see what that ends up doing actually overall. So eat mushroom. 
can't plant it there. Can't plant it there. I can grow it right there. It's a pretty good spot. Let's see though. Okay, I can grow it there. So let me grow it right in between these two. Perfect soil for mushrooms of all kinds. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I, I guess I just can't really do much else right here right now. Just have to wait for these to grow out. Slowly regrowing. And I guess time did pass by an hour overall, which allowed me to have some of these mushrooms grow a little bit more. But I think we'll save that for another episode, because it's I think it'll probably take a bit too long to, to wait right now. But let's, uh, oh, Walter's freezing again. <laughs> there it goes. We'll get on back home real quick and kind of open up another book. Of course, we don't have a bed. Uh, oh, no, no, we're going to work on the crystal. We're going to work on the crystal. So I know exactly where to go for that. Yeah, I think it's that way. So I'm gonna I'm gonna close the game while working on the crystal, so that way, however long it takes him, he can go and uh, acquire all that. Because that's that's one of his tasks is being able to get one of those. And of course, I don't want to dedicate a full video just to breaking a crystal. <laughs> okay, and then I don't think I'm gonna be dreaming anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat, uh, pick this up, and replant it somewhere else that we have more mushrooms to <laughs> trip out with. <laughs> right, let's pick you up. Yoink. Okay, and then let's go ahead and grow you right there. Nice. Sweet, so let's go to the jump off. Let's go. Let's do it, Walter. And check the map. Okay, let's check the map. Yeah, I think that jump off point leads to those crystals, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wait, what? Hold on. Just said to pick up something. Oh, it's just coal. <laughs> Disappointing. Yeah, I think the... Let's take a walk. I think that jump off point is overall where those crystals are. I hope. We'll see. I'm trying to look on the map, though. I feel like that's not right. Hmm. Yeah, where, where was that section that I jumped off of? Sorry, I'm like <laughs> trying to like visualize this in my head of where where we have and haven't been on this section that we're trying to get to. Hmm. Yeah, because that the jump off point, I think oh yeah, we're definitely going the right way. So if you can see on the map, shoop, way up there, the furthest right and down you can get, um, it almost looks like the shape of a car. That's the drop off point. I can't see it fully because I never, I didn't zoom fully out of that map when I um, went to that room and took this screenshot. So there's, there's some areas that are a little out of visibility just in general right there. But that definitely, pretty confidently, <laughs> that should lead to the crystals. There should be a lot of them, too. I remember it's a very loud room overall. Okay. Let's get back to Walter, though. There's little slappers out here. 
Also, I don't know what the crystal actually does. If it's purely just a decoration or potentially... I mean, it's possible that it might be used as a tool for something. Whether that's drawing or something else. Yeah, let's go ahead and pick that up. Why not? Lump of coal. Fallen Brothers returned. Let's go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's another one. It's fine. I'll leave that one there. <laughs> I'm glad we've discovered more in this episode, though. Having a better understanding of overall the the way that um, that top section is working. Oh, is the music changing? <laughs> it's changing a little bit. I, yeah, I wouldn't imagine that the that you'd see much of a difference between the mushroom. I don't know what I'm saying. You wouldn't see any other solution than to use the mushrooms. I feel like the game is trying to communicate to you that you need to be able to do that. Um, combine the mushrooms and plant them. I don't see any other reason why you could plant a mushroom literally so close to the, like that little cliff edge. So where does, where does that section go? I don't think I've ever been able to explore over there. Check that on the map. Yeah, there's like nothing that I can do right there. And on the map, it, there's really nothing that shows uh, as you continue to go up right in that area. Hmm. You know what, maybe... Oh, hold up. I think I might see a whole new place on this map that I have not been to. Okay, so if you're looking at dead center of that map, just trying to help point this out for you guys since I can't physically point to it because um, I have to keep my cursor on the actual screenshot. Um, of course, it's going to disappear here in a second, so keep holding on. <laughs> Uno momento. So yeah, if you're looking dead center, like where King Hall, pink area, um, gold room, sorry, I'm going backwards, gold room is over one, and then you go up and up, there's a staircase there, and I do not know where that goes. So I'm I'm actually walking in that direction already. Um, so I'm gonna check that out. That seems like somewhere we have never been. At least it's not on the map. <gasps> so yeah, we'll go down this staircase into the next room and then go right and then go right again, and that's the staircase room that we haven't been to, I believe. So I'm gonna check that out super quick before I go to um, mess with any of the crystals. So, it should be interesting. Oh, I love this game so much. <laughs> Which auto path is it going to take from here? I hope it just goes. Yeah, it would just need to be to the right. Okay, so we're in the map room right now. So if I go right and right, that should get us to that s those stairs that we. I don't know if I've discovered or explored yet. That's really strange that I wouldn't have been up there yet. 
or that it's not on the map. That's really the most kind of questionable thing about all of that. So this will bring us into this little hallway, which we'll have left, middle, and right. So yeah, here's left. <clears throat> Going middle, which will take you down, according to the map. So the middle doors are typically going to go up or down. So yeah, middle door is down to some of the just general crystals. But this is going to lead us to that staircase that I don't know if we've been up to before. Let's figure it out real quick. Yeah, let's go up these stairs. I. What is this up here? Uh, it's probably somewhere I have actually been, but it's not on the map. Oh, what? It's just an endless staircase. Wait, that's weird. I don't know why I just got chills, too, like, while looking at this. I don't know why I was, like, expecting something scary. <laughs> oh. I guess I'm thinking about the, the darkness in this game. The unknown darkness. What a meaningless ascent. Now I have 10 disappointments. No, Walter. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Well, now we know. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Walter. I didn't mean to make you do that. All right. Well, at least this other... <laughs> this one is a very close room overall. A loud piece of coal. <laughs> yeah, I'm really surprised I haven't gone up, gotten up that yet. That's really funny. Walter's gonna have the thickest thighs <laughs> at the end of this 400 days. Imagine if you walked up and down this many stairs and like halls basically an underground mountain which is what a cavern is essentially <laughs> imagine how strong your legs would be or i guess how skinny you'd be because walter doesn't eat anything except for mushrooms <laughs> that he literally trips out on okay so what is this section check the map okay yeah so we went into there, and that brought us, okay, to the right-hand side, which we're going to go down. And then from down, we'll go right, and we can jump off and land on this squishy little mushroom. Yeah, sweet. Well, I mean, that answers my question on the places not being discoverable. Maybe it is just literally dead ends like we just found in all that dark space. Okay. This is about to be it, guys. This is about to be the end of this episode. I hope you've all enjoyed this so far. I think it's actually going to get kind of loud <laughs> over here into uh, the crystal area with the fountain, I think it is. It's like a large rushing water. Um... So yeah, I just wanted to, of course, say, uh, we'll, we'll get to it and I'll, of course, show the video, but uh, before we jump over there, I just want to say thank you guys so much for coming out for this video. Uh, coming out for all of these videos, really. Um, being able to play The Longing and playing such an in, a relaxing and enjoyable game has been um, been really fun. And the fact that you guys all really enjoy it too is like makes it even better. It like makes me want to keep playing it. Um, every once in a while, a series will be like, oh, this didn't do too well at least in terms of like viewership. Um, and it it kind of the overall like motivation to keep playing it sometimes dissipates. If it's a really fun game, I'll still play through it. Like for, for instance, Resident Evil 3, it's not the most, it's not the best performing game on uh, for my like playthroughs right now, but I absolutely love it and I love playing through it. Um, this game though, I absolutely love playing it and you guys also absolutely love watching it. So it's like the perfect mixture of what you guys enjoy and what I enjoy. Um, so I'm really glad that kind of we're all coming together to, to 
to enjoy and play the longing. But again, of course, I want to say thank you guys so much for coming out uh, for this series so far. Um, leave a comment, something I should check, something I should know. Um, hopefully there's no spoilers involved if you guys leave any comments um, of things that you would recommend me doing. But if you remember anything that I've missed, please, please, please leave it in the comments uh, to remind me. Um, okay, great. We are in the crystals area. Ooh, let's jump. Let's go, Walter. Wee! Such a soft landing. But yeah, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Something that I have missed. Something that I need to check out. Uh, of course, make sure you guys hit the like button. That way other people can see this video. Helps with YouTube's algorithm overall. Um, so if you guys smash that like button, obviously more people hopefully will be able to um, check out my channel, check out this series, and kind of be here so that we can kind of all discover it together. But, um, yeah, let's see, which crystal should I get? Can I do the giant ones? That'd be incredible. Oh gosh, Walter is sinking down here. <laughs> Can I do this one? Oh, uh, no. Wait, what was over here, by the way? Oh. Was I waiting for this to fill up? For any reason? I don't think so. I should pick up this moss, though. Yeah, there's all this up here, too. Ooh, secrets. <laughs> Is this, like, magical water here? Oh, no, I have been up there, I believe. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been over here. <laughs> I suddenly have the urge to collect more. Oh, and I got some coal. Yeah, so let, let me go ahead and... I'll just be mining these uh, crystals in the background of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Again, thank you all so much for being here. I know I've already done an outro like five times. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and start working on one. And then we'll, we'll be back here next week for more of the longing and more time with Walter. But anyway... Thank you guys so much for coming out for this video, and I cannot wait to see you all in another one. Later.